Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed my Kamaya Healing Spray um, and I've already pre-shuffled my cards to save time. So let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what is going on with the collective today. Whew, I'm feeling super hot. So I feel like this is going to be a very passionately charged reading today. Um, this is definitely someone who you just had an amazing um, like sexual connection with um, someone that you know I think it was just a super passionate connection all right okay we got seven cards out let's go ahead and start so first off we have a two of swords and this one actually landed sideways so this person was struggling with making a decision and the decision was finally admitting to themselves how much they loved and cared about you um, and actually finally expressing that. Um, this person was too afraid to be honest with themselves as well as you. Um, and instead of admitting how much they loved and cared about you, they ran away. With the three of wands here, um, you know, they had so much passionate love for you and they could have taken that risk and told you how they felt and had this beautiful and passionate new beginning with you, um, but they weren't ready for it. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have glown up since this person has left your life and they are now kicking themselves and truly regretting not telling you how they felt when they had the chance. Now they're in this nave of chalices energy uh, where they're trying to find the words to say, to say, I'm sorry, to take ownership for the mistakes that they made in the past. Um, and they're truly just struggling with getting, um, you know, this apology um, and this expression of love that you deserve out. With the three of chalices, um, I think immediately after breaking up with you, they may have gotten involved with other people. I think it was to help convince themselves that, you know, they weren't as in love with you as um, they thought they were. They wanted to prove to other people and also themselves that, you know, you weren't everything that they could get over you easily. Um, but the more time that passed and they still couldn't get you off their mind, they realized how big of a mistake they made. Next, we have a Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, they weren't honest with themselves about how they truly felt about you and they're truly regretting that. Um, next, we have a Five of Wands in reverse. Um, so they're doing their best to pull their energy back. I think they were stalking you heavily for a very long time, um, hoping that you didn't move on, hoping that you weren't doing better off without them. Um, and then we have a Three of Swords in reverse. They pulled their energy back and took the time that they needed to heal their own heart and forgive themselves um, for the mistake that they made. Um, you know, it wouldn't be fair to you or themselves to come back before they've healed and come back before they were ready and really knew what they wanted. They didn't want to come back too hastily and make a mistake again. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. So like I said, this person really went into hermit mode. They took the time that they needed to really reflect on their actions, um, reflect on what they did to you, and also figure out what inside of them was causing them to act this way, what it was causing them to um, be a coward and run away scared, so that when they come back to either you or just have another relationship in general, they do things right this time around. With the devil card under that, this person definitely recognized their own devilish energy. Um, they knew that none of what happened was just your fault. There was a lot of shadow sides to themselves that they didn't even realize that caused the issues in this relationship as well. With the Ace of Swords here, they're ready to come back and give you the truth and clarity and honesty that you deserve and have a new beginning with you um, based on a good solid foundation that you didn't have in the past. With the Nine of Swords here, they've definitely kept themselves stuck um, behind their own lies, behind their own manipulation because they have control issues. They like being in control of their situations and by being honest with you, it really scared them to be vulnerable. 
with the King of Pentacles here, they want to come back and invest in you in ways that they have in the past. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Um, so this is a divinely orchestrated connection. Um, this had to happen so that this, um, I'm guessing he was more of a Knave of Pentacles, a Page of Pentacles, however you want to take it, wasn't mature enough, wasn't on your level. But it took losing you for them to finally elevate themselves and become a better person. Next, we have the judgment card. So like I said, this person went through a period of transformation because of the way they hurt you. Now their eyes are fully open and they're aware of who you are to them and they know that they want to be with you for the rest of their life. With the four of chalices here, this person has been incredibly bored without them. They know that they missed out on a good thing and that's why um, they're being pulled back towards you. With the Seven of Swords, they truly hate themselves and they can't get over how badly they hurt you, how they lied, how they betrayed you. But with the King of Wands here, they have so much passionate love for you, like I already said, um, that they really just need to come back in and make things right. With the Ten of Chalices here, you are their true and everlasting love. They want to come back and whisk you away so you guys can finally have your happy ending together. With the Stars card here, they are wishing upon a star. They see you as a star. They really want you guys to come back together. They're really manifesting this union, this new beginning together. With the Two of Pentacles here, they definitely juggled you in the past and they don't want to do that again. With the Knave of Swords here, they weren't able to be honest with um, you about how they were feeling. And again, they truly regret that because you are their son. You make them so happy and no one else has ever made them feel this way. Okay, so I'm going to go into my channeled messages deck. Um, like I said in my last video, I did transform this deck into a real deck and it is now available for purchase um, in my store. That um, information is in the down box below for you. Um, so, you know, these next few videos will be the last time you see this deck in this version. Um, I transformed it into the deck um, called Spill the Tea. Um, and I'm super excited um, for my deck to arrive so I can start using it in my videos, but definitely be on the lookout for that. And also check out my shop in case you want to shop any of my Oracle decks. So this person who is coming back, what traits do they have? What secrets are they keeping? What does my collective need to know about this person so that when they come back, they can make the best decision for themselves? All right. So first off, we have Fired. This person, as karma, they were fired from their job um, or they've just been unemployed for a very long time. They're having difficulty finding new work. Um, and, you know, it was just karma for what they did and how they ended up treating you. And then we have anxiety. This person has been having crazy anxiety since you left their life. Um, I say your name. Um, this person thinks about you constantly. So they're constantly also spilling... Um, <laughs> not spilling up, kind of slipping up is what I want to say. They're constantly slipping up um, and saying your name um, in inopportune moments or just accidentally calling other people by your name um, because they think about you so much. Okay, we got one more. Um, childhood trauma. Like I said, this person, they use that hermit mode to really go back in time and see, you know, what do they need to heal? Um, you know, what was causing them to behave this way and causing them to hurt you? Next, we have guilty. This person definitely feels guilty for the way they treated you. Um, and, you know, that's why they want to come back and make things right again. And lastly, we have shy. So like I said, with that Knave of Chalices, they're really struggling getting their words together. They're not sure how they're going to, you know, um, maneuver this reunion with you. They just know that they need to come back, apologize, and speak their truth, and just hope for the best. So I'm just going to get three more cards on how the situation is going to wrap up in the next seven to ten days. So let's see. All right. So we got three cards. First off, we have Ace of Wands. So you are going to have a new beginning with this person. Again, in this particular deck, this is my twin flame card because of these two figures in the fireplace there. So if this is someone who you consider to be your twin flame, there's confirmation for you. Then we have Death. 
this is a death of this person's old ways and this person's former self. Um, they're going to promise to be a brand new person and the person that you deserve. And lastly, we have a 10 of wands. So this person has finally able to drop all their per burdens from the past, um, drop that childhood trauma that was holding them back, and they're ready to come charging in full force to have this new beginning with you because they want to live happily ever after with you. So that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video to claim it. Um, if anything resonated and you are brand new, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.